Rob Chisholm and this little video is all about using Luma Fusion. Uh, if you don't know I like editing, do my paragliding videos etc. So uh, desktop's gone, died, passed away so I've been left with uh, what I have which is really nice, the iPad Pro but the screen obviously is going to be restrictive so I'm going to go through some ideas how I got around those areas. Um, some people won't like this and it's just the tools for what you need and ironically which I would have agreed a few years ago a lot of people would dismiss editing any level of video besides basic um, in and out of editing shall we say and nothing more changing sound levels etc you just couldn't do on an iPad or that was a way of the thinking uh, the way I've interpreted this program, this app, is the people who have designed this have thought, okay, what have we got to work with? We've got four um, gigabytes of RAM. Is that right? Yeah, four gigabytes on here. Um, we've got this processor. Let's strip everything out and start from the ground up. And in doing so, it's really surprising. So, you know, I'll pick out some video and show you. So, if um, if you can see this, I've already marked in there before. You can see it there. Marked in a little bit that I like. You can go in here. You could add a note, type away there, you know. And there's your note done. Um, you can colour code it, which uh, for me it is. Let's just see if we can get out of there. Colour coding this uh, in a tag here. You can just tag it and give it a colour. And if you work with that sort of system that you could have blue as video you want to use, etc. So these are all quite useful. Uh, the other thing I do like about all of this is if you have a keyboard attached and you take the Apple key, which um, or command key, that one there, and you just hold it down, you'll see on the screen displayed all these shortcuts. So this opens up a whole area of ease of use so for example insert to main track W so just press W that little bit of the clip there will turn up here so it's in there and if I want to go to the beginning because it automatically will drop here for the next piece of video to be added if I go back and I want to go back to the beginning uh, so go to the beginning is control and the little arrow so control and arrow mm. No, it doesn't bring me back on the timeline, so probably got to exit and go to the timeline. So, um, close source viewer is probably, yeah, that one. And then we can go control, yeah, and so there we are, we're at the beginning there, and I can play this by pressing play. But what I'm actually going to do is this. You don't have to do this, but this is just something I wanted to know if I could do. The one thing I can't seem to get working on this iPad, but I can do on every other function, is um, there we are, get the uh, mirroring up. So you need an Apple TV for this. So I'm going to connect. You may be able to do this Chromecast. I'm not sure, but I don't know. So what I do is, if I want to go back now to that program, I use Apple Key and here, and it, oh, it moves along a bit too quick, and there we are, Luma Fusion. So you're just pressing the, the key here, and you can go through your apps that are open. It's a shame you couldn't press one here to close them. If that was possible, that'd be handy. So Luma Fusion, up it comes. Um, so there it is. So I'll just show you over there. So there we are. So I, I can press play now by just hitting the keyboard. But I just want to go back to the beginning. There we are. And then I'll press play. And then to make use of the TV, because it makes, um, as you can clearly see, it will. Oh, where's the camera? There we are. There and there, the screen's been cut off. I think you probably can configure the TV to make use of that because that's come out as a square box um, it could be nicer if it was filling the whole of the screen so anyway I want to play full screen on on the iPad and just hit press play again 
and so the whole purpose of doing that or showing you this is that you could look at that timeline that's probably 10 feet away to be honest and you can actually make use of a bigger screen which helps when you're working with the timeline or you could just sit with with what you've got here but so the, t the top tips are really is you can press down the command it brings up all of these different things you've got undo replace split you know these are things you use a lot with your hands on the keyboard when you're editing the video so luma fusion up it comes um, so there it is and you can actually make use of a bigger screen which helps when you're working with the timeline